pregnancy update. Um, I feel like it's been forever since I did an update. Actually, it's, it was last year, back in November when I did it. But um, I am officially in the third trimester sidebar. I get out of breath quickly, so I may be a little winded during this video, so just um, overlook all that. But I am officially 27 weeks and four days, four or five days. So um, my second trimester just ended last week and we are in the home stretch. So um, I just wanted to give you guys like an update on everything, well, just about everything that I went through last trimester. But um, so let me just jump right into it. If I'm looking down, it's because I've made like, I just um, put down like a couple of notes so I can remember to tell you guys what was going on. But, um, so my second trimester started November 23rd. Um, that's around 17 weeks. And it lasted until January 25th. And that was my 26th week. Um, second trimester was rough. It was um, a lot in terms of me passing out and me like being really lightheaded and just stuff like that is and to this day they really don't know what's causing me to pass out but the thing that's reassuring me i i haven't really talked about it with many people because i feel like it's probably something that i'm doing wrong but i did talk to a friend and she said like she passed out a good bit during her pregnancy both of her pregnancies but she was just like it was just completely fine like her doctor couldn't find anything that was really wrong with her or either baby so that's kind of reassuring that others experience that during pregnancy so for me it's just like okay because I know like I'm eating the way I'm supposed to eat like I eat small meals throughout the day I stay hydrated it's just I can just get I can be lightheaded at the snap of a finger and sometimes I pass out and sometimes like I really don't remember it like last week um I text my husband it was right after I had gotten a hepatitis b shot for work and I came home like I was fine I came home I ate my um sub half of my sub and then I drank some water or something like that and I was sitting here on the couch watching TV and I don't know what happened like I was a little lightheaded but I didn't get up or anything I was just sitting here and then I remember waking up so I don't know how long I was out like I just I'm not sure but I felt fine so that's the scary part. So the first incident happened, I want to say it was, because it was the day I bought my new car. It was on a Saturday. I think it was Thanksgiving weekend, like that Saturday. Yeah, it was that Saturday. So we, um, the only thing that happened that day, we were at the dealership literally all day. Like, we got there that afternoon and didn't leave until it got dark. But, of course, it gets dark early around here, so that's not really saying a whole lot. I think we got there about 2, ended up leaving maybe around, like, 5 or 6. To me, it was a long time. I was getting hungry. I was tired. I was just, I was getting irritated. And finally, like, we got the car and... I was just exhausted at that point. Well, my husband um, wanted to go to Lincolnton, which was about an hour drive from where we were because we ended up going to South Carolina to get the car. So, drove from Rock Hill to Lincolnton. It's probably not an hour, but it took a while for us to get there. And then we ate at like a little mom and pop 
restaurant, like an Italian place in Lincolnton. And I had um, some pasta and I remember it was not good. It was, ugh, it was disgusting. But I was trying to eat it because I hadn't had anything to eat. I was trying to eat the bread. I don't too much eat bread like that anymore. So I was just trying to force this food down. And midway through dinner, like, I got extremely hot. And I was like, this food is coming up. So I just excused myself and took care of business. Like, everything came back up. So that is from my surgery having gastric bypass because it's certain foods i can and can't eat and if i can't eat it it's instantaneous like everything will come back up like right away it's not gonna be like later on or a few minutes later like as soon as i eat it if it's not what i'm supposed to be eating, it'll come back up so i got sick at the restaurant so basically i started all the way over with nothing on my stomach but i wasn't even thinking about that i was just like ready to get out of out of the restaurant and get to walmart because that was like our next stop and then my thought process when we're in walmart like i'll just grab something and then we'll go back to jason's mom's house and i'll eat it there well didn't make it that far because we made it through walmart and i got that hot feeling again like like i was just gonna jump through my skin like i felt horrible so i was hot i started to get lightheaded in my mind i was just like if i can make it back to the front of the store and lean against a display or something i will be fine Ooh, excuse me. So I um, walked towards the front of the store. I've, this is like this huge battery display. And then there was like a bunch of Christmas displays. So I'm leaning against the battery display because it was kind of flat. And I could just lean on it. So I started to feel a little bit better. My um, mom ended up calling me. And... I don't remember what happened after that. Like, Jason said that he was walking behind me. He said that I was on the phone with my mom, and then next thing he knew, I was falling backwards onto Walmart's concrete floor. So, I don't remember any of it. All I remember is coming to and Jason over me, like, panicking. And so that caused me to panic. And then I start hyperventilating. I'm like, what is going on? And then I hear all these people just talking and they're like, oh, put her feet up. And Jason's like, she's pregnant. Somebody's calling 911. And I'm just like, what is happening? And I, for some reason, I couldn't talk. So it was really scary in that moment because I just, I, I couldn't, it, it didn't register to me what was happening I couldn't talk it was just a whole lot so fast forward ambulance gets there because I fell in Walmart like they had to check me out take me to the hospital um, when I got to the emergency room they were just asking all these questions and asking I, I hit my head so I had like a lump in the back of my head I, um, it was just like a couple of other things like it was just it was really random like to me I felt like I didn't need to go but of course Walmart is like making sure they're not gonna get sued which it wasn't their fault like I got hot and I passed out but they told me they ran like my blood work and stuff like that and my iron was still low so I'm thinking my iron dropped again and I can't remember if I talked about it in my last video, but my iron dropped once before and I felt lightheaded like for a while I didn't actually pass out. I can't remember if this happened before or after this Walmart incident, but forgive me because <coughs> pregnancy brain is a real thing and it is terrorizing my life because I cannot remember anything. 
and I probably should have um, written down all this stuff, but I haven't because my life is pretty hectic right now. But anywho, back to the story. Um, nothing really happened at the emergency room. They just kind of checked me out and I ended up going home. So I did have to make an appointment with my OB and she talked to me about my low iron. They um, gave me iron pills and a prenatal with iron in it. So I have to take a prescribed prenatal vitamin along with prescribed iron pills. So far, I think it's been working, but I'm not really sure. Like, I just take it every day just to be sure. I don't take the iron pill every day. I take that every other day. But um, I take the prenatal with iron in it every single day. So after that, like the holidays, it was fine. Um, I didn't really have much going on. I think the very, that happened in November. So I think like a week or two later, like right around, it was the first week of December, we found out the gender of our baby, which I've already uploaded the video. So you guys know we are having a girl. Um, we had our gender reveal December 8th, I believe that it was that weekend, the 8th or the 9th. But um, we found out we were having a girl and December was pretty uneventful other than the gender reveal. Like as far as like me, symptoms and any mishaps like nothing happened at all i did however get laid off from my job and so i kind of worried about that because i thought i was going to be stressed out which losing your job like right before christmas and then being pregnant on top of that like i just knew sorry about that um so i was talking about losing my job um, I wasn't stressed out at all. I was just pretty calm about it, actually. Um, I looked at it as time for me to get things ready for her arrival. So I used that time to kind of get her room together and Christmas shop and things like that. So, sorry, I'm out of breath. Um, it didn't really register that I wasn't working. I still had other things to do but I did start back working in January so I wasn't out of a job too long um, the good thing about this job I'm back in the school system so I'm on like a school schedule and that'll be good whenever she arrives in May because they'll be getting out for the summer and everything will be all good I'm so out of breath you guys like you do not understand and she is like up here moving like there is no tomorrow and it feels so interesting like she like I could feel just I guess it's like a little wave like maybe it's kind of like if you do this on your hand with your knuckle you could just like feel like a little movement go across her stomach she's um breach so she's laying horizontally when she should be vertical but my ob said that she's not worried about it until i get to about 32 weeks and then she's like she needs to be moving her head down but as of right now she's still breached i could tell that she is because i could feel movement on this side and this side at the same time so i know it's like her feet and her head or her arms up here and it feels so weird like every time i feel it i'm just like oh gosh there's a two in there but they know for sure we're just having one baby and it's a girl because every time they look i'm like double check because i know a couple that just had a baby or just had twins back in december the entire pregnancy they told her that she was having two girls I think like a couple of weeks before she had the babies, um, they confirmed that she's having a boy and a girl. So 
I'm like, okay, I just need to make sure we're having a girl. But, um, let's see, what else happened? I did have another incident. This happened in January. And it's basically the same that happened in November. The only difference is I fell forward. <sighs> and then I had to stay in the hospital for a while because they had to monitor me and baby girl. Like, they had us on the monitor for hours. It was so long. Like, it kind of gave me a glimpse into what it's going to be like whenever we go into labor because like you just have to lay on this bed and you have like these belts <laughs> strapped to your stomach and they want to monitor everything and listen to the heartbeat which I'm grateful that they did all of that um I guess like me because I felt like I was getting sore and stiff I wanted to get up and move around just a little bit but um that incident i I was walking out of a building down some steps and again I don't remember but I fell face forward down some steps I ended up busting my lip I had like scratches and bruises on my face um, my lip is actually it's still not gone completely down it's like it's still a knot at the top of my lip I busted my lip like the inside of my lip horrible like I busted <laughs> I'm shocked like my teeth didn't fall out because I literally I hit the pavement face first and it wasn't cute at all but um once we got to the emergency room after that the um I guess the OB that was in that emergency room, he like ran all these tests, had me hooked up to a monitor. Like he would not let me leave until like he ran everything that he thought was wrong with me. But he did check my blood type and I am O negative. I believe majority of the people are O positive. And so he was saying he wasn't for sure, but he was just gonna do it as a precaution that um, he gave me the Rogam shot because he wasn't sure if our blood was somehow mixing because he said if it does, that's what causes a lot of lightheadedness and people passing out. So, I can say since then, no, I can't say that anymore because I did slightly pass out last week on the couch. But I, I do think that was from that um, that hepatitis B shot. Other than that, like, I haven't felt lightheaded at all. Before that, like, I was feeling lightheaded a good bit, but I didn't actually pass out. So they did give me the Rogam shot. Um, I think that's it. I, um, I am drawing a blank right now because pregnancy brain um I really can't remember much it's sad because this was like only a couple weeks ago it's only like February 5th um I don't really have any other news I haven't done my glucose test yet I'm supposed to do it Friday so like in three days I'll take that and I'll know if I'm preeclampsia or not um I do have swelling in my feet like every once in a while I've noticed like three different times like my feet have been swollen like today they're swollen but I've also been on my feet most of the day so I think it's because of that um that's about it I'm finally showing finally at 27 weeks i feel like most people show it like probably been showing for 10 weeks now but i've always just had like a small bump but now it's like a little more noticeable but i will go ahead and show you my baby bump with i'm not raising my shirt because i still have surgery scars that 
is not cute so I'm sorry I'm so out of breath I cannot breathe I cannot talk oh so I don't know if a white shirt I don't know if you could tell you could tell a little bit you could definitely tell from the side so that's baby girl she is moving up a storm right now so before it was just like this little bump right here so now it's like rounding out but yeah that's the bump i live in maternity leggings they are life I just like how I think like the band up top it kind of makes my bump look a little smooth and perfect but other than that that is it um but I am looking forward to this third trimester praying that everything goes smoothly I um yeah, th I think that's about it. We um, decided not to move. Our lease was actually supposed to be up, I think, like a few weeks after she arrived. And I just told Jason, I was like, look, if we don't move before, we're not moving right after she gets here. Because I know I'm not going to be able to move things around or get things situated with a newborn. So we... Um, we haven't done it yet. We have to talk to the leasing office. So in our minds, this is what we're doing. We're going to push our move date to the end of the year. So hopefully they let us do that. If not, then I guess we will be moving soon. But um, that is pretty much all. I... Um, I'm looking forward to doing a what's in my hospital bag video. We have our baby shower coming up in March. We have, I think that's it. Those are like the only two things that I'm really looking forward to. Oh, there's like a consignment um, thing here in Charlotte. Like it's huge. And you have to have, like, this invite, join the Facebook group, all this stuff. But, well, actually, it's, like, in Lake Norman, but that's Charlotte. But it's, like, this huge, like, convention center type place where all of these consignment shops set up shop. And they sell, like, baby clothes, baby furniture, um, anything related to baby, like, it's just... It's all for babies. Like, they don't sell anything else. It's, that's it. So, it's like, babies are us on a thousand. But, um, that's at the beginning of March. So, that, and I hate, like, I didn't have the baby shower first. So, I know what I don't have. But, I'm like, whatever. She's getting a lot of stuff anyway. Because she's the first on my side and the first girl on Jason's side so automatically she's full and so I'm like whatever we're just gonna get her whatever and people gonna get um their baby shower gifts and if we can't use either or we can always take it back or either um swap it for something that we do need um or the stuff from the consignment we could just give to the next couple or sell it to somebody or something but um have this all figured out in my head but other than that that's about all i have going on just working i'm gonna work up until i can't work anymore i don't know when that's gonna be but thankfully my ob is not talking about putting me on bed rest anymore because that these little spells I think that would have been a whole lot more stressful than 
anything. Like, just not being able to do anything at all. I don't want that. But that is all that I have for you guys. Now I will be back hopefully in a couple of weeks with my hospital bag and a haul from the consignment fair or whatever it's called. It's called Sail Away or something like that if you're in this area. Um, I'll put a link to the Facebook group in the description box below. So if you're in the area and you'd like to go, definitely sign up for it. Um, they have special times for first time moms. And that's what I'm excited for because first time moms get to go first. And they sell to them first before they open it up to the rest of the public. So I'm excited about that. But... <sighs> I cannot breathe. I can't catch my breath. I can breathe. Can't catch my breath. Um, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Do whatever the Lord leads you to do. But I will be back in the next video. And I hope you guys have a blessed day. <laughs> Bye.